When the route plan was, uh, was given to me by Chinmay Yuva Kendra, um, I knew what I was getting into since uh, uh, the state of West Bengal was given and I was asked to assist also uh, Sikkim. Um, and I took one bonus point out of it because uh, uh, we had, uh, we have this uh, Pradeep Goenka in our study class who is from Bhagalpur and I knew he could do Bhagalpur too. So some total, uh, the responsibility that got onto me being the coordinator was uh, of the cities Durgapur from where the Yatra entered, then Kolkata, Bahrampur, Rai Ganj, Kangtok, Kuch Bihar, then it was Siliguri and thereafter we ended in Bhagalpur. To be very honest with you, I always uh, uh, believed in karma and you know, and I'm quite shied away from things like ritualistic religion uh, wherein you have uh, some number of flowers going into a deity and then only a religion takes place. No, I didn't really believe in all that and when and the, actually the change took place when I saw that movie of um, the life of uh, Swami Chinmananda and I actually wept through the entire movie and it brought about a change in my life, my perspectives, my thought about the entire, uh, you know, the work that has been done all through and uh, that is when uh, a few days later my friend Lalit told me that, you know, uh, they're going to have this Chinmay Jyoti Yatra wherein uh, his uh, karam would be taken all over the country. Now Durgapur being the place where I have my bread, butter and cake, I thought that there is a little bit that I can contribute uh, in this Chinmay Jyoti Yatra. When I was asked to coordinate the Chinmay Jyoti Yatra program in Kolkata, the first challenge that I could feel was to make a program which could be a befitting welcome to Gurudev. Because whatever we do, we'll feel we haven't done enough, looking at his stature. Then the enthusiasm amongst the members was seen and they everybody started uh, giving ideas and the whole thing uh, to shaped up very nicely. We welcomed Gurudev at Dakshineshwar temple by taking him to Sanctum Sanctorium after a holy dip in River Ganges which was followed by a convoy of 25 cars taking, taking him to the next destination of Mahalakshmi Mandir where the Samasthi, Paduka Puja, cultural program and talks were performed. The atmosphere was just divine, serene and pure. Everybody was so excited, they were so happy all around. Okay, my experience uh, with uh, Kuch Bihar and Bhairampur, initially it was Bhairampur. Um, both the destinations were absolutely um, new for us. Luckily, I had relatives over there, so it became a little bit easier, whom I've actually not been too much in touch with. But um, somehow, God's grace, I would say they really were a great help. Uh, actually, the, a new destination because uh, they had no clue about uh, Chinmay Mission organization. So for, it, for us, it was um, actually a total start that we could introduce uh, Chinna Mission over there. Basically, uh, Rai Ganj was uh, being discussed in three, four classes that we are, were having every Sunday uh, at the mission. And uh, uh, Lalit Bhaiya was always requesting Rai Ganj ka kuch nahi ho raha hai, Rai Ganj ka kuch nahi ho raha hai. It so happened that uh, uh, my I had I have uh, one of my customers staying there and my uh, sales representative used to visit there. So, mere man mein aaya ki Raiganj ka kuch nahi ho raha and I am always coming here. Let us let uh, let let me do something. Both these uh, places, in fact, Kuch Bihar and uh, Bharampur, were a revelation. Uh, here was a place where I have not been to. I have had no relations with that place ever, and wherever we went. We, we had got some cards printed out for, for Guru Paduka, the significance of that. 
and we spread these across to all the people who came on to the bus in in Berampur as well as Kuch Bihar. Kuch Bihar was a, a, a I would say a completely different kind of experience. Never expected there were at least about 150 students out there, and uh, these 150 students. Uh, I'm glad that they got to know what a Guru Paduka stands for. And when I was talking to one of the kids over there, I asked him to read that card out. And he asked me a question. What do you mean? When I asked him, in fact, I said, what do you mean by Guru Paduka? He was confused about it. He says, sir, I see a footwear over here. So are you asking me, why do we uh, respect Guru's footwear? I said, absolutely. Just turn the card around and you will get the message across. Priyum, receiving Guru Pesh Paduka and the CSV at Bhagapur was a very nice and exciting experience. Lot of people had gathered, lot of eminent personalities of Bhagalpur, including the mayor, the vice chancellor, the local heads of the chambers of commerce, professors of different universities and colleges had gathered to welcome Gurudev. During this uh, birth centenary celebration and Chinma Jyoti Yatra, I got this golden opportunity to travel with the Chinma Jyoti in Calcutta and all the northern and eastern regions. And we went with the along with the UAVs, so joyful, enthusiastic, and in spite of so many difficulties and bad roads in the Bengal, but our joy and happiness is not less. I was escorting Gurudev, which was a reward which just, it doesn't matter how much things and what experiences, just that me escorting Gurudev in this and taking him to places where people even don't know who is Swami Chinmayananda, what is Chinmay mission. That gave me the biggest thrill. We were in a trance. Each one of us actually went into a trance, totally submerged in the feeling that Gurudev was with us. I was with the Yatra for just two, three days, but I felt cocooned uh, in the love and wisdom of the Master. It was inspiration 24 hours. Gita chanting kiya tha sare bachcho ne, Bal Vihar ke bachcho ne chapter 15, jo ki is saal ke liye chuna gaya hai. Aur ye sab chije sunne ke liye, karne ke liye humme chuna gaya. Yeh bhi hum sochte hai ki humne Guruji ke blessing ke bina ye sambhav nahi hai. Gurudev Paduka means Gurudev is coming. The thought he rubbed into us and really that you know we were kind of asleep with it. So the, we got awakened. I am very fortunate that. I have seen Gurudev, Gurudev ko sachi mein dekhe, Gurudev ke saath mein kuch samay bitaya hai, Kalkata mein jubhe aaye the. So with those memories, humara jo reverence, unke saath mein jo pyaar, unka jo aashirwar, abhi tak jo chal raha hai, ek tha. Aaj kari 40-40 saal huye, Gurudev ke saath mein rehte, 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 bas. Ye yatra, humari bhi yatra, ant tak Gurudev humare saath mein rehe. This is what I want. My Sandesh Vahini in Bengal was an inspiring journey. For the first time, we had ventured into new places Durgapur, Bahrampur, Siliguri, Kuch Bihar. In all these places, there is a great potential of Chennai Mission Centers coming up. I think that is the most incredible work which has happened in Bengal through Chanya Sandeshwani. I fully congratulate Lalit Patak and his team for putting up this great show in Bengal. Thank you.